Well, there's an unpleasant term that I've found has become more regularly used in politics lately, and it's called throwing someone under a bus. And I think that Scott Morrison <laughs> threw Alex Antic under a bus last week uh, by trying to be with the 80% plus of people in them in the Prime Minister's mind who support mandatory vaccination or support getting vaccinated. Uh, and I think that he's gone to Alex Antic uh, and looked at that example and said, look, I need to distance myself from him. That's got to have some people in the coalition worried about what the PM might do for political expediency to one of them. Across our broadcast regions, uh, you've joined the Flow Morning Show. Today, uh, we're having a look at the topic of uh, whether Alex Antic lied to the Prime Minister. Now, this is becoming uh, a little hot potato. I've got Ricky Lambert with me in our studios. And Ricky, you've talked to Alex Antic uh, and a full version of the interview with him this week is up on the Flow News 24 podcast. But there is a very interesting uh, um, story coming out of what he said. Yeah, look, I've had regular conversations with Senator Antic for the morning show when I was doing that, and we've regularly talked to him. And uh, so I've understood where he's coming from for some time as he took his vote away from the federal government in the Senate over the question of vaccine mandates by the states. And then he was put in hotel quarantine a week ago, arriving back from Canberra. Uh, And when I put to him today these comments from the Prime Minister where he said Alex Antic had misled him about his vaccination status, this is what he's had to say. You know, I, I'm sort of a bit bemused by why anyone, be it the Prime Minister or uh, my mother, uh, would be talking about my private health care uh, uh, publicly. I mean, I, I, that's my, always been my line. It's not something that, you know, I have ever suggested anyone should talk about. And so questions in that regard can be put to the Prime Minister. But I, I can say very comfortably that I have never misled the Prime Minister about anything. Um, and so that's about all I can tell you. Yeah, so you're just categorically saying you never made a representation to the Prime Minister about what your vaccination status was. No, 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 no absolutely not. So, Wayne, I um, it just seems to me that someone's got their pants on fire here. There's the, uh, Alex <laughs> Antic and I are both former lawyers, OK? And I often found in the law, when two people are telling conflicting versions of events... Someone is lying. <laughs> well, um, he said uh, there is absolutely uh, no one that he's spoken to, whether it's his mother or the Prime Minister, about his vaccination status. And he makes a point uh, quite clear, and in the full podcast you can pick that point up, about the fact that uh, he's kept this as a private thing. Uh, it's uh, now become a public thing because of his, uh, he calls detention, um, and he says it's more like uh, detention than quarantining. Um, so do you think there's more to the Prime Minister statement, uh, and is the Prime Minister making that statement uh, again, maybe as they say, muddying the waters a little bit? Politics quite often is not necessarily about uh, what is exactly said in a conversation or the truths of that. It's about what people inferred or might have got out of that conversation. So we never really quite know with the Prime Minister whether we're getting exactly what the conversation was. Well, there's an unpleasant term that I've found has become more regularly used in politics lately, and it's called throwing someone under a bus. And I think that <laughs> Scott Morrison threw Alex Antic under a bus last week uh, by trying to be with the 80% plus of people in them in the Prime Minister's mind who support mandatory vaccination or support getting vaccinated. Uh, and I think that he's gone to Alex Antic uh, and looked at that example and said, look, I need to distance myself from him. That's got to have some people in the coalition worried about what the PM might do for political expediency to one of them. If this uh, becomes uh, a greater story from the comments even made by Alex Antic today, I mean, where does this leave? Anthony Albanese, does he um, go with the line that the Prime Minister has lied? I mean, that has been the line that uh, the Labor Party have been prosecuting about Scott Morrison in more recent times. Well, I think that's a line of attack that might come off of this interview with uh, Flow FM and on the Flow News 24 podcast. Uh, we know Labor's jumped on some things that have been said on the Flow podcast before, so uh, maybe they will take it as a line of attack. But Anthony Albanese, he is looking hot to trot. I mean, he's looking really sharp, Wayne. I, I, I think if he, he looks a bit like Paul Hogan after he re- emerged on the <laughs> emerged on the scene looking very fresh-faced in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, dearie me, uh, stretch and attack and all that sort of stuff, maybe, but... Uh, 
uh, Albo certainly uh, lost a bit of weight, I think you'd have to say, and uh, getting himself primed for a federal election. If you want to hear the full podcast at Flow News 24, it is really worthwhile hearing what Alex Antic does say. And that conversation with Ricky Lambert and relating to the Prime Minister may well have a few problems ahead for our Prime Minister. And certainly it could be something that Alex Antic um, is going to be looking at uh, to look further at uh, as he gets out of detention.